All right, what's up, YouTube? This is Walter and I for some Edison. Walter's playing uh, dragons. I feel like we saw somewhere that some people call it hopeless dragons. I don't really know what that means. Um, but he's playing his dragon deck. I'm playing Machina. I got this deck list from edisonformat.com. I don't know what to do, so I'm just playing cards as it happens. Trap does shoot. I can deal with the uh, Graffer Red MD, right? Because they're kind of dead right here. Um, so, not knowing what his deck does, I was like, I'll see what fo what Foolish gets him. So he gets the Plague, but that's not great. Like, he gets a 6, so... It's a Goyo, that's okay. Um, and some is the thing in defense though, we both forgot. Um, I don't know how else he's supposed to out this. Because if he Brio's... I guess if he summons Brio here, he pitches the red MD to out this, attacks over this. But like, this just goes back to hand, so any other machine gets me there right so uh, his hand was pretty subpar uh, might have been better just to like not do anything but then I'm gonna apply at least 4300 damage next turn and that's a lot of pressure that puts him on a pretty big clock so um, and he knew what he was drawing for turn two. he was drawing a dead trade in so he knew he was gonna die So that was a pretty quick game. He didn't really draw any playable stuff. This game is going to be a little bit different. As you can see from his hand, he's got some options. So he's just digging. He's going through a lot of cards. Lure, Rota, Trade-In. Um. So what this does, Phantom of Chaos, banishes the Sky Scourge to copy the effect. You can pay a thousand life points and all cards on the field and in both players' hands to graveyard. Then he draws one card. So he's basically resetting the whole thing and putting himself as a plus one. Um, and it puts me on top decking. So he does that, draws a trade in. Of course, he draws a target for the trade in. And then Gold Sargs in two turns, he's going to have another play. I top charge, though. Bye bye, two gear frames. I don't really know what Charge of the Light Brigade is doing in a Machina deck. But here it is. He gets his Dark Creator. Specials it. Let's see what we got in here. Gores, Horus, Graffer, Phantom of Chaos, and Creator. Specials, I booked the Phantom. He normal summons, he forces the Raikou. So if I top deck a machine monster, I think I'm in there. I did not, but I have an out to the Phantom of Chaos. And he gets dad. But there's too many darks for dad to really matter. And dark horse can uh, 
special summon something after a spell card resolves that are my main phase. So he outs the warrior lady. I take 28. This is not enough because Fortress is only level 7. And that is enough for game. So game three. I get to go first. I set Raiko, dust shoot mirror, pass, and I get to dust shoot. Uh, he has Rhoda, but I'm annoying. <laughs> I declared it like four times. Oh my god. Um, I hit whatever that was. Uh, I don't care about the Phantom of Chaos. It doesn't do anything right now. Um, and he's opting to just pass instead of... Like, these don't really apply a lot of pressure at the moment, so he's going to slow roll them. But I have DD Warrior Lady, so... I start applying pressure... And future fusion. Five dragons. That's tough for me. This has got true nade. And then he future fusions again. And now he gets the Phantom of Chaos. He copies Red MD, Red MD, Red MD. Forces the Warrior Lady. But, haha, <laughs> I have the right go. And I know Gruffer and Trade In from when I. Um. Trap dust shooted him. And I opted to kill the future fusion because if five headed dragon comes out, I lose. So I was like, I took the 5600. Um, and I hoped. I have the mirror force, so I'm not going to die next turn unless he tops Cold Wave or True Nade or Heavy. So. Um, the end phase so this is back to zero I can resolve avarice because of my Ryko mill and then I know he's gonna get dad so I think what I'm gonna do here is summon the Kaiku attack over phantom remove some dark monsters so dad isn't good. He drew a dead trade in. Oh no, he had a creator. That's what it was. Um, I think I was just playing around a top tag dad. He's going to try and apply a lot of pressure here, but he walks into the mirror force. Woo! get pissed on um, and still only three different named dark monsters so creator's still dead um, I know he has Greffer uh, you have to set the Greffer but Kaiku is gonna go hard remove two more darks Dad's not going to matter because even, I don't even know if it was that more than one. Um, but even if he has a way to get it back, if it isn't one, like he can't banish cards. So like he has to attack over the Kaiku or draw monster removal. Um, so I'm in just like a really good spot. Necrogarder now does nothing to Kaiku. 
So he's got to survive two more turns, and he can't because his only card is Gold Sark, and I'm going to kill him next turn. So a, uh, a Mirror Force put in work, and he couldn't out the Kaiku before I killed him. So my Machina deck, the Machinas didn't really do much. I'm not really sure what they're there for, to be honest. Um... I'm gonna have to play a little bit more Machina and Edison to kind of get their vibe, but uh, the rest of the cards in my deck were really good. They put in a lot of work. So I take that one, and uh, we'll be back with some more Edison content. Uh, I'm really excited to dive into this format and kind of see where I end up, so.